Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot the new Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started so first of all open your web browser and search for Ubuntu now go to download Ubuntu desktop from the first link and after that you'll see a download link for Ubuntu 24.04 LTS just click on it and your download will begin I have already downloaded it now after you have downloaded it, go to another tab and search for Rufus. Now click on the first official link and download the latest version of Rufus. We need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Ubuntu. Now after that, insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB because the Ubuntu ISO is almost 6 GB. Now after that, go to your downloads folder and open Rufus. Now. Select the Ubuntu ISO which we just downloaded earlier and for the partition scheme choose GPT. It will make a bootable USB of Ubuntu and this process is going to take a while so I am going to fast forward. Now once this process is complete close everything. Now right click on your start menu and select disk management. Now select your local disk C and right click on it and select shrink volume. Now allocate about 40 GB of free space for Ubuntu. Now once this is done close everything and it's time to reboot and boot from the Ubuntu ISO just reboot and when your computer is starting go to your boot selection menu by pressing the escape key or the F12 key and after that on the boot selection menu choose your pen drive now you will automatically boot into the live environment of Ubuntu So the Ubuntu installer is a bit different in 24.04 so let's begin. So first of all choose your language I'm going to choose English and after that you will see some accessibility details you can check out if you want but I'm going to skip it and after that select your keyboard layout I'm going to leave it as default. Now it is recommended to connect to your Wi-Fi network before installation because we are going to download the drivers and media codecs. Now here you have two options install or try if you haven't tried this already make sure to try before installing 
now we have two options for installation you can either choose interactive or automated I'm going to choose interactive now again you have two options default and extended so the default option is the minimal installation so I'm going to choose the default option now make sure to check both options for drivers and media codecs Now comes the most important part. Here you need to choose the option which says manual installation and click on next. Now you will be presented with your number of drives. So find the free space which you just created on windows. Select the free space and then click on the plus icon. Now use it as ext4 and for the mount points select forward slash which is the root partition click on ok and after that for the bootloader installation make sure that the correct drive is selected where the free space where we just created free space now set up your account details and your password and after that your installation process will begin and this process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part So finally the installation is complete now you can click on restart now and it will automatically reboot and before rebooting make sure to take out your pen drive now every time you boot into your system you will be presented with a grub menu to choose between your operating system so for now I am going to choose Ubuntu to check if the installation is working or not. So as you can see we have installed Ubuntu successfully now let's try to reboot and boot into Windows So as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you.